Now let's move on. All right, now we're gonna get those front ends snapped back on there. A lot of people. Uh, what do you think, Con? I think we have a couple adjustments. Yeah, I don't know about that yet. I know you don't, but with a tape measure, I see that I gotta trim about three eighths of that off, or it's gonna bang into that. And on the other side here, some of that's gotta come off. We'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Hold on. Yeah, we'll see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we get that so it's dangling? Jack that up a little bit more. Try to dangle it. Now we'll have to crank that other gizmo. Ooh, we're dangling. It's got it dangling pretty level too, don't it? No. Oh. All right. What are you seeing? Might have more trouble putting this front end on than the put the motor back on the trans. Check the other side, see what we gotta do. That's what it seems like. The other side looks to be like only about a quarter and it's gotta come off of that. This one's this one is closer. It's gotta come off of that inside there. Okay. Okay, so we know our points. Yeah, we see what we gotta do. Let's get the grinder up. Hook to the pulley, aren't I? There we go. Three-eighths of an inch, I think the saws all just cut that off. At least get it to where we can grind on it. And just cut it off. Then I'll have to grind it. Okay. Yeah. Variable speed's not so good on this. It's not so variable. It no. goes too fast. It does. That's not bad. That's perfect. I think. I think it's just exactly right too. You know what to take off that too, don't you? Do you want me to do it with this? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, you can do I, this that angle cut there, I'll right? See if I can. Yeah. That's a little harder to cut, you know. It's actually taking a little less. Is that hot? Say there's a template. In case we have to weld it back on. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't doing that. I think we're a little Connor, maybe if we wanted a tricycle 870, we should have just put a tricycle front end on 870. <laughs> <laughs> they made tricycle 870. Oh, they did, didn't they? Yeah. Well, I really wanted a tricycle 830. I always wanted it. You have always wanted one of these. I yeah. love the look of it. I just I love the look of this old tractor. It's yeah. weird. It's weird, I know. All right, so I'm going to jack back up and roll it back in. It's not weird at all. <laughs> Case IH were smart, they do, they'd do a retro line or something. Yeah, you see that there's a... A new blazer out that looks like an old blazer? Uh, I didn't think the blazer did, but the Bronco does. No, blazer. Oh yeah? Yeah, did you see the Ford Ranger has a 10 speed now? 10 speed? It's a 10 speed. That's stupid. <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> That's stupid. That's just dumb. <laughs> they should have two speeds for every speed. Pretty much what they're getting at. If I do that, can I get you lined up? You gotta go up still. You gotta go up there. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, well, I don't dare move now because 
Don't move. I'll get the right wrench real quick. If you got the tread started, I don't want to pull it. Don't move. <laughs> don't move at all. Like a survivor challenge or something. What about the one you got started already? I'm seeing if we're even close to that. Because if, if I run this one, then that one's in it, right? You gotta get that one like that. You gotta go bring the whole thing up. I think it'll be easier. Just a touch. Tip the bottom down if you can. Is it hitting already? It's something weird. Like it doesn't want to. Uh, it's not hitting. We got good. We got good clearance. It's like perfect. Is there an angle on it? That's hoarseness. Yeah, there is like that. There you go. Can you close that side over there? Yeah. It's been the easiest bolts coming out. And now they're just going to go back in. It's got to go up just a hair. Can you jack it up just a hair? Good. Cross threading? Yep. Here, let me wrestle it and you put the bolts in. Get started? Yep. Let me get started enough to where I know the treads ain't gonna pull out. Mm -hmm. Can't believe it's just four bolts on the front end of this on, but. It is. Well, they're pretty big. I'm gonna pull no wheelies with it. Okay, roll it in towards me. Yeah. Is that a bingo? Bingo. Now, hope we don't have trouble with that. These things come in handy. Yeah, they do. Lime it pin. Mm -hmm. Did you get your bottom one going or no? I got it almost all the way in. You be safe on wheels again. minor conflict and it's where this front this front end kind of bangs into the bottom of this timing cover where it meets the pan I don't think you can see it but that's what we got to get to let me see it from under here right here in front of the patch there it's hitting about a quarter inch we got to get rid of What do you think? Not anymore. A little more? Uh, 
top on the other side. Kind of a giant mouse trap here. <laughs> you ain't no mouse. <laughs> Shove it back in. Cool. That's probably good. Over we'll that way. Need your little alignment tool. If I had an alignment tool, we'd be really. Way closed up now. Okay, so you're good. It's, it's, uh, I hope we got an eighth inch gap right now. How are we hitting? No. Take a look. See if you got an eighth inch down there. Mm, we got no gap down here. So more grinding. More grinding. Crap, Ola. We're gonna try it again. This time it's gonna be perfect. Hey, glad we're getting this heavy stuff done now because this is all the tag team operation stuff. Getting the motor hung, getting the front end back on it. Hard to do by yourself. You got her? Hard to do with help. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be more struggle this time. Gotta come in more, don't I? Yeah. What's stopping me? I'm, I'm ramming into like one block. Into the block of the jack. <laughs> yep, right there. Go move. couple hours went a long way to make it look back like it's a tractor again yeah at least it's all on its wheels again so that's good that means we can get rid of the jacks and clean up this area not a bad day I think I'm gonna take that hoist jack this thing up and uh, work on that in the morning
Hey guys, so we really had a battle with that old bolster today. Um, I tell you what, on again and then off again and then on again. We had to do some grinding and some cutting to make it fit, but that's what happens when you're running into a motor swap. I mean, going from an 830 engine to an 870 engine, there's some differences there. So there's always going to be something else we have to um, have to account for, have to adapt, and have to modify. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and uh, share it and see you on the next one.